Science and technology are principal drivers in today's global economy. For students striving to become the leaders of tomorrow, science, technology, engineering and math, or STEM careers, will increase in importance and are critical for keeping American ingenuity, inventiveness, and innovation at the forefront of the global economy. The National Science Foundation is addressing this need for STEM students through its own groundbreaking project entitled GK-12. The GK-12 program funds graduate fellows who are studying and carrying out research in college and university-based projects across the country. Graduate students who study in science, technology, engineering, and math-based fields carry their knowledge into kindergarten through 12th grade classrooms through unique programs. One being carried out by the University of Arizona is BIOME, which stands for Biodiversity from Molecules to Ecosystems. And tell me, where is the food? University of Arizona Life Sciences graduate students work with K-12 teachers in sharing this integrated approach to life science. About four or five years ago, a number of us interested in, in bringing science education into the classrooms got together and designed this program and we got a grant from the National Science Foundation to place 10 graduate students a year in classrooms throughout the Tucson area. So the ants benefit by getting food from the cactus. To bring their own research expertise into the classroom so that they could do hands-on training in science, benefiting the classrooms obviously, but also benefiting themselves. And then some ants like... I think as a scientist, uh, sometimes we forget how to communicate in a way that, that everyone can understand. And I think that's very important. Most ants are territorial, uh -huh. so they have their own particular territory that they forage in. Okay. And if other ants intrude upon the territory, then usually there's some sort of interaction. In East Los Angeles, California, Underserved minority students benefit from visiting science and engineering graduate students from Cal State LA. Numerous K-12 schools participate as graduate students bring their cutting-edge research into the classroom, sparking excitement about STEM careers. The Books Project at Ohio University in Athens sails on the Ohio River as the boat of knowledge in the science classroom. The boat of knowledge um, is really a wonderful experience for the students because it allows them to um, learn science in a new and exciting way. My name is Jackie Hanel and I'm a graduate fellow on the program. I try to correlate my research a little bit with water quality. So I'm placed at Alexander with Mrs. Braverman. So I work in her classroom a couple days a week during the school year, and then we get to come out here twice a year. Uh, what what bring you all here? Uh, okay. Testing water. So you're going to write seven. Hi, What's your name? What's your name? Shane, Michael. And what brought you here today? Uh, biology class. You think you might become a biologist? Maybe. I'm Mr. Barron. Call me Mark. <laughs> what we're going to do today, we were up front and you did the dipsticks doing a screening method for pH, um, nitrate, and phosphate. Uh, this is more of a very specific chemical test rather than the screening. Okay, so the scientist has to wear the official scientist coat. Okay, what we're going to do is just get a little bit. It's called an aliquot when you get a little bit. We don't care how much. And I'll pour it in here. So we have, that's about all we need for this. 
sometimes we can use this filter and we will look at the filter checking out the plankton the algae we can see what's in the river okay, okay so this thing's draining and the water is going through but it's filtering it it's right. Point, right exactly it's filtering it and that's in this thing right here yes Good job. Yes, no, no, no. It's all out. I'll take the bag. Wipe blank file clean and place in cell. Close lid tightly. Okay, so our result is 2.75. And what's our units? Milliliter, milligrams. Milligrams per liter. There's always units. Are you thinking you might be a college student one day? Hopefully. And what do you think you'll major in? Uh, engineering. Yeah. We have learned that the GK-12 model promotes STEM education from grade school through the graduate level. Support for this goal comes in the form of training both in communication and teaching methods or pedagogies. The Fellow Teacher Partnership, one of the most widely followed models, pairs a graduate student with a K-12 teacher or small team of teachers. Lessons, labs, and activities are planned and carried out by the fellows and teachers acting together. Resident scientists are fellows stationed in a school or district. As they develop materials and strategies, they are then incorporated into classroom and field trip experiences. Research-based lessons bring fellows' current research directly into the classroom. Research experience for teachers allows K-12 teachers to participate in a summer research experience with the GK-12 fellow. Working across multiple schools works well for rural areas and locations remote from host universities to help maximize impact. Traveling lessons are also suitable for remote locations with fellows visiting schools with portable laboratories. Focus is on developing the teaching and communication skills of the fellow while host schools benefit from their activities. GK-12 models serve a variety of educational institutions. Urban to rural, across disciplines, the partnerships forged through graduate students' involvement in the classroom impact students broadly preparing them for professional and scientific careers in the 21st century. We hope this video has helped you to understand more about the National Science Foundation's GK-12 program. The Graduate STEM Fellows in GK-12 Education program works to encourage continued student involvement in fields and careers vital to human progress.